Order. I said order. I will not allow this meeting to turn into a free-for-all. Now everyone in this room will wait their turn and will be recognized before they speak. Next up, Ms. Clark. Yes, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Kent Cho, owner and manager of Den O Iniquity on 233 Blackmore Street. yourself up by the bootstraps, boy. You wanted to be ringmaster of this circus. Now you get to clean up some elephant shit. Mother. You suck! Please, please, let the man speak. Every citizen has the right to speak. He does not have the right. Oh. I didn't lose these damn peepers in the war just so some smut pusher like him could open his damn eye hole. Smut pusher? Who's he calling a smut pusher? Smut pusher? This isn't a council meeting, it's a witch hunt. Relax, Echo. Remember, stress fractures your aura. Your aura. Do you, Kent Chubb, swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God. Well... <laughs> I don't really believe in God, but what the heck? <laughs> he didn't just say what I think he said. Did he? Did he? He did. Good for him. That retard over there, what the hell's his problem? I don't see a problem with him. You don't notice the fact that he repeats everything you say. He has this thing called echolalia. He has to repeat the last thing you said before he can speak. So why we call him Echo? That's why we call him Echo. So, Mr. Chubb, you're the owner of Deno Iniquity. Uh, I don't want to interrupt Mr. Boyer, but I am the... I, I, I'm the manager of the club. My father, Shank Chubb, is the owner. And this club hosts a rather, shall we say, Lurid, a ray of what are commonly referred to as fetish knights, is that correct? Y yes that is correct. Do not mock my quotes, sir. And what do you do to protect our children from witnessing such deviant behaviors? It's a nightclub, we card people at the door. And what if the doorman happens to be a sex offender? Hmm? What if he just lets some boy scouts just wander on in so we can get his jollies? His what? Oh come on! His jollies! His kicks! His rocks off. His tickets to his pocket circus. Oh, I'm hip to your slang. I don't want to be rude, all right? But do I honestly look that stupid that I would allow children into my club? I believe, Mr. Mayor and the people of this council, that this is the last straw. This isn't the type of establishment we want to run an off your seat, and I believe at this time we should revoke Mr. Chubb's entertainment license for good! Yeah. 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 Enough. I'm the mayor of the city. I'm the mayor and I will decide who stays in business and who doesn't. Now I've had the pleasure of knowing this man's father for over 30 years. And I'm not about to stand here and listen to this slanderous, cowardly talk. Remember boy, this is an election year. And those are your voters you're about to royally piss off. Mr. Chubb, I'm going to give you one last chance to clean up your club. And if you don't, I'm going to have to shut you down. Just in time for Christmas. Why are you running? Uh, well, Danny, I wanted to get away from them before the audience got to their stash of torches and pitchforks. I'll also pass. Just imagine yourself as a leaf on the cool water of a mountain stream. A branch blowing in the wind. Uh, a sucker who's about to have his nightclub closed down by a bunch of moral majority fruitcakes. <laughs> Let's go. Looking for guns. Okay, so we've got our standards here. I mean, we've got Touch Me Thursday, Furry Friday, but what is this Wet Wednesday? 
Well, we're gonna turn on the sprinkler systems. Everybody has to come in bathing suits or white t-shirts. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. And what about all this TBA stuff? I mean, I can't promote what I don't know what's going on, man. Froggy, let's just make sure we're open that long first, okay? Oh, doom and gloom. That's all it is with you. Doom and gloom. You should be more like me and look on the sunny side of life. Yeah, your sunny side of life comes out of a prescription bottle, Froggy. Don't you forget it. Ah, uh, no worries. I got the blue pills for that. Max, hang on a second. I have to talk to you. Look, I need a drink. I don't, I don't feel right without my tail. Look, I know it's not Friday, but we're here for Kent tonight. So if you're not gonna say hi, then let me go. Oh. Right. Whatever, I'll be at the bar doing my fish impression. Lovely. Remember, I have eyes in the back of my head, so don't be checking anyone out but me. Got it? Fine! But how can they shut us down? We're not hurting anyone, and it's our right, man. Well, a little LSD never hurt anybody either. And they made that illegal. Damn fascist. This is serious, Moonbeam. Well, if they revoke your liquor license and rezone the area residential instead of commercial like it is now, that'll just about do it. I thought the zoning laws had us covered. Yeah, man, zoning laws. That's what we used to call them. You know, laws against tuning in, turning on, and zoning out. Could you remind me why it is I retain your services? Hey, guys. I don't mean to butt in, but I wanted to tell you, you were really brave at that meeting this evening. Thanks, but that wasn't bravery, it was stupidity. Hey, that new go-go dancer, Kelly, is she here? You heard from her? She's supposed to be here at 9 o'clock. Oh, Kelly Kelly, the new go-go dancer. Mm -hmm. The one with the... Uh, yeah, that would be the one. No. The one. Isn't Danny great? Yeah. I just wish I could get her to notice me. Well, just go up, introduce yourself, say hello. Oh, tell her she smells nice. Smells nice? Yeah. Won't you think I'm some kind of freak? No, no, and just get up there, nuzzle in real close. They love that. I love that. Mm -hmm. That would be nice. Yeah. But Dax would kill me. How do I do that when she's already got a boyfriend? You just get up there, show them your dominance. You gotta mark your territory. That's what it's all about. You, you realize you're repeating the last word of every sentence. Every sentence. Yeah. What do you mean by mark your territory? You mean make a pass at her or get in with the furry crowd? I don't know if that's my thing. No, you just go piss on some of his stuff. And you gotta get on top of him, take him down, get him to show you his belly. That's what it's all about. If she sees you doing that, you're all set. She'll take you home, I'll be scratched behind your ears. You might even rub your wiener. Rub your wiener. That is the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard. Well, what do you want? I'm a dog. I know that security must be a big issue around here, but you've been searching that lake for five minutes now. You can never be too careful, Thunderbones. Terrorists. The carpet. Club's closed. Time to go, buddy. Hey, Jelly Bean. Hey. Good night, huh? Yeah, it was great. You gonna be safe getting home? I think so. Okay, good. See you tomorrow. See ya. Hey, wait. What? Hey, Crumb Cake, listen, can you take that call for me, man? I'm exhausted and I gotta go see Dad. Yeah. Hey, get these pirates out of here. Have a good night. Grab your booty and walk the plank out of here. Den of Iniquity, how may we service you? I hope you weren't too inconvenienced by your missing go-go girl slut tonight. But don't worry, she's resting very peaceful-like at the moment. Fucking jealous boyfriends. All right, Sir Prance a lot. Let's go. Dad, you still up? Yeah. 
This old nurse is just taking my vital signs. She gets a kick out of torturing me. Oh, Mr. Chubb. What's the good news? He's dying. I said the good news. There is none. He should be in a hospital. He doesn't want to go to a hospital. I've asked him a million times. Hospitals, screw that. They kill people in hospitals. Then he should at least be in a home. Your father has acute cardiomyopathy. What did she say I have, son? Uh, she said your ticker's on the blink, Dad. Who made her a doctor? She said try handling being a nurse first. Are you really his son? Because you don't really look... Jewish. Yeah, I know I'm adopted. We're all Jewish. The whole family. We've been Jewish for 32 years. We tried Baptist, Pentecostal, even Catholicism. My lovely wife and I searched and searched and searched, and we finally settled on Judaism. Would you like to see a family photograph? Yeah, we got some great shots from my bris. Would you like to have one? We have some handout copies. No. Oh, ho! No cigars, no salt, no fried foods. That woman's trying to kill me. <laughs> You're trying to kill her. Uh, I wish I could. <laughs> I need a drink. Nick, go ahead. She's a Nazi. <laughs> Mazel tov! <laughs> so, how'd the council meeting go? Badly. They don't have a real reason to shut us down yet, but it's only a matter of time. Your grandfather. Opened this place in 1910 as a colored gentleman's club. Then prohibition came and the law shut him down. My uncle started it up as a juke joint and he got shut down too. Yeah, I know. The wolves of Puritanism have always been at the door, right? We gotta fight. We gotta fight and keep on fighting. I'm, listen, I'm not giving up nothing. Do you understand me? Nothing until the day I drop. Your uncle used to say it's all through life. Well, it's true. That's what life's about, putting up a good fight. I worry about you, boy. You understand me? I worry about you. What do you mean? I see it in you. You're a quitter, son, and it bothers the hell out of me. Oh, God, I wish she was more like your mother. Now, she was a pit bull, a, a prize fighter waiting in the corner for the bell to ring. That woman was something else. I'd hope some of that might have rubbed off on you. Yeah. I miss Ma. Yeah, I do too. Now you go and show these Busy bodies in the council that Shank Chubbs' his youngest son has to fire in him. Huh? Yeah. 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 Okay. You're right, Dad. Yeah. Thanks. All right. All right. Now get on down there. You know, you've always been a good father to me. Yeah. I suppose. Good father. A lousy husband. I'm sure she forgave you. I bet you my shoes that she'll tell me about each and every detail when I see it. 
Nej, det Hello, my name is Skip Farron with Channel 3 News. Here in the town of Westerly, a moral firestorm has been started over a nightclub called the Den O Iniquity. How do you respond to the accusations that the Den O Iniquity is a haven for the morally corrupt? We feel, as proud and loyal furries, that places like this are needed, and we're tired of being judged, and we want to live a life free of. of. persecution. persecution. Being a bouncer at a nightclub such as this, you must see your share of vice. No, we don't allow any vice in here. There's, there's no drugs, no guns, no weapons of any kind. Just your normal whips, riding crops, chrome vibrators, butt plugs. And we just started a new policy. No dildos over 13 inches. <laughs> Safety first. Are we rolling? Yeah? I'm, uh, my name is Kent Chubb. I'm the uh, manager of the Den of Iniquity. Uh, you know, you want to dress up in furry outfits, you want to come here, I, I, I give you a haven, you know, I, I give you a place to, to, to do that. And, and, and freedom, because freedom, I mean, America is the land of the free, right? I think that it was um, Voltaire who, who said that I, I may not agree with everything that you say, and in this instance, I mean, when I say that, I mean, I, I may not agree with you dressing up as a, a fuzzy animal, but Voltaire said I will defend to the death your right to dress up like an animal and spank each other. As the owner of this establishment, what would you say to the people of the fair town of Westerly who believe you brought sin to their city? I'd say keep your own damn fingers out of everyone's damn pie. Stop peeping in everyone's damn keyholes and pay more attention to your own damn problems. And while you're at it, every Sunday night at Den Iniquities is Pimp and Holes Night. Best costume wins a year's supply of condoms and assorted flavors and colors. Den of Iniquities, come and see us. Rusty, hurry up with that salad. The dinner's getting cold already. Oh, you forgot the serving spoon again. Don't bother, I've got it. So another reprieve, huh? If you asked me, I would have shut them down tonight. Oh, Ma. The old promoting public indecency charge? You know as well as I do that that's almost impossible to prove. Well, fine. Then think of some other way. I've got a bridge game in 15 minutes. Don't wait up for me, I will be late. And don't leave the dishes out again. The cheese dries on there and it just never comes out. Oh, Rusty, what would you do without me? I don't know, Ma. Look, I said I was sorry, didn't I? I mean, give me another chance. I can change. You know I can change. We're not talking about your hair here, Dax. I mean, that changes every week. But how many chances do you want me to give you? I love you, Dax, but I need to get some love back if this is going to work. I don't think I can do that. Let me show you how. My grandfather saw this. He turned over in his grave. <laughs>
Hey. You here? I'm here. So, my sweet, what's the plan? Look on the hood of that car to your right. What is this? Just what it looks like. Now the plan. You need to get into that club tomorrow night and plant that. Then the next day, the police raid the place and take them down. And then, to Florida? Plant the evidence, and then we can start planning our trip. No, I don't know how much longer I can take. My wife is... My wife is starting to suspect something. Well, let her. Do this right and we'll be gone before the spring thaw. And my love will shine brighter than the Floridian sun for you, my honey bunch. Yes, as will mine, Jay. Now go. Do we have time for a quickie? You know, something just to hold me over till this is all done? My little rump roast? No, it must wait. It'll be better that way, I assure you. Mm. I love you, man. You're my best furry yeah. friend. Yeah. I saw you looking at him. Transparent cheating whore. You're very, very bad panda. You're drunk. I'm taking a cab home. Oh, a cab? So you can go back to that freak's house? I don't think so. You're coming home with me. Get the fucking car, slut. Shane, can I ask you for some money? Son, tonight I'm your servant, I'm your sage, a call. I'm your Yoda tonight. Ask me anything you want. Anything you want. Dax can't push her around like that. Dina's the most wonderful girl in the world. If I was her boyfriend, I would treat her right. But that Dax, he's a... He's a bastard. Yeah, it's plenty mean for a mouse. A mouse? Yeah, shit. What do I do? I... I just want to punch his stupid lights out. Well, there are many schools of thought on that subject. Gandhi would say, an eye for an eye. But then the whole world would be blind. And good Lord Jesus would say, turn the other cheek. The other cheek? What would you do? Well, I follow the divine teachings of Muhammad Ali. Who said? I hit him so hard, you have to use a shihan to put his hat on. To put his hat on. Get in the goddamn car before I. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ! Uh, Jesus Christ! Get your hands off her! You miserable bastard, I'm gonna break your face for that! No, 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 break it no, up. No, no, I'll break this up. No, let them alone. Let them get through this themselves. Why? So Echo can become a man? Like a rite of passage? No, I got a hundred dollars riding on the rodent. Oh, <laughs> you rotten old bastard. Shh. Come on. Come on. Get him in the weenus. Pull his tail. Pull his tail. All right, that's it. Kick him. Pull no, his no, tail. No, Kick him in the weenus. I'm done playing with you. Gives me no idea. Fuck them up Fridays. Dax, stop it! You broke his nose. There's plenty more where that came from, baby cakes. What the? Got him by the tail! Bite him in the haunchie! Ah, fucking Ever, 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 ever again. Are you okay? Does it hurt? Hurt? Only when I laugh. Echo, will you be my boyfriend? Boyfriend? What? Do I have to dress up like a farm animal? 
Not if you don't want to. Want to? Oh, I would love to be your boyfriend, yes. You're a sucker for true love, Dad. Oh, true love, my eye. I'm out a hundred bucks now. Timmy's fallen down the well. Drugs in the office. Lawyers in the club. Alma, sweetie, it's Jay. I told you never to call me on my private line. You stupid schmuck. I'm sorry, sweetie pie, but it's done. The package is in place. The eagle has dropped his babies off with the ducks. Good. Good boy. Do you want me to call the police? No, no. The club is about to close for the night, and I want to make the call when the place is packed with perverts. Well then, I guess I'll see you at the next council meeting. My sweet little pot sticker. Alma, Alma, Alma. Like a fine wine. Just gets better with age. Sorry about that. Hmm. But it would appear that one of my employees became a man tonight. Really? Mm -hmm. Do me a favor. Mm -hmm. Skip the details. <laughs> Besides, something I want to talk to you about. What? The club. I just can't hold it in anymore. Do you know what it's like to be the wife of the man who runs Westerly's leading kink club? It's not a pretty sight, Kent, I can assure you. Besides, it's like... Every night I sit here and I worry that you can end up in jail. Baby, don't worry about that. That's what we got Martin for. Oh, Moonbeam. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Remember the time that I spoke on your behalf to the city council? Remember? The legal briefs fiasco? I can't tell you how relieved we are that you're representing us, Mr. Kellogg. Thank you. Well, I couldn't very well let such an important civil rights case fall to the wayside, now could I? <laughs> Look, this guy comes highly recommended from the ACLU, but he hasn't tried a case in a really long time. I wouldn't worry about it, dear. Oh, yeah. Well, Kent, don't worry. We have the law on our side. <laughs> And I have four hits of pure bladder acid on the inside. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Oh, oh, don't get bummed out. It won't take effect for at least another hour or so. Uh oh, man. I'm in for a bad trip. I told you not to hire the hippie. Don't hire the hippie. Um, ladies and gentlemen, honorable council members, I am here to speak to, <laughs> to, would you please stop moving around so much? As you well know, I represent the Kents, the Shanks, the Chubbs, Chubbies! <laughs> Changa, choo, choo, choo. <laughs> hmm. How soon do you think we can get the next plane out of the country? Think of all the great publicity we got. Kent, that's not the point. The point is, is that whatever goes on behind those doors is nothing but harmless fun, Chase. Furries! Furries! These are people who get off on dressing up like sports mascots. I don't call that harmless fun. Well, I never saw anything come between you and a good fur coat, dear. That may be true, but I never wanted to have sex in one. Snap out of it! Come on, you're just like your father. You're a perverted little boy with a dirty mind. One man's perverted is another man's adventurous. Who are we to judge? Hmm? <laughs> 
You're a really good kisser, Echo. Really good kisser, Echo. I am. Can I ask you kind of a personal question? A personal question? I think at this point you can. Well, you've been coming to the club for like a year now, and I've never seen you, you know, get involved in anything. Involved in anything? Well, I kind of like to watch. Oh, so you're a voyeur. Interesting. Interesting. No, no, it's not like that. I, I don't know. I, I just, I. No secrets. Secrets. I like to be spanked. Really? Really? Yeah. A lot. It was becoming a real problem at home. Why? Did your parents catch you in the act? In the act? No. But my mom was wondering where all our silver hairbrushes were going to. A Wednesday night And it's a hundred degrees Fahrenheit A perfect night for certain kinds of fights Tonight I'm going out to feed my appetite I grab some and then I go downtown Out to a fetish from the Hits on that one. Okay. A couple of driver's side airbags. Crumb cake. Just stop it now. You're not fooling anyone. What are you talking about? You're a lesbian. Look at that. Yes, I'm a lesbian and you're a homosexual. What? No, no, no. I like the ladies. Then please explain to me why you spend upwards of five to ten minutes patting down every muscle-bound bohunk that comes through that door. I'm thorough. You're thoroughly a fag! So is it okay with you from a fag? <laughs> Crumb cake, look around you. We've got grown men and women wrestling in mint-flavored sexual lubricant. Do you really think we're the judgmental type? So do you think anybody else knows? <laughs> no, no. Uh, I wouldn't say everyone. Hey, look over there. You got the Nancy boy, and you got the carpet muncher. What do you think they are? Are you Kent Chubb, the owner of this establishment? I'm the one and only. So do you know Mr. Fred Dobbs? Dobbs. I don't think so, should I? Well, he's a patron at this club and he's missing. Maybe this will fucking jog your memory. Oh, well, carpet. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't know his real name. Well, he's been missing for three days and his wife is in hysterics at this point. <laughs> Wait, carpet? I mean, Fred had a wife? <laughs> I wonder if we'll never see Do you know anyone at this club that would actually want to harm Mr. Dobbs? Everyone? So he had a lot of enemies here. No, 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 so you don't seem to understand. You see, Carpet liked being hurt. He beat himself up in a carpet so people could step on him and shit. You know, for giggles. That, that's fucking sick. It's a terrible thing to happen to a nice Persian. I definitely agree. <laughs> okay, okay, wise guy. If you have any other information that could be of actual use, then give me a call. Wait, 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 wait. Don't forget, every other Friday night is police brutality night. Best costume wins an autographed copy of the Mark Furman autobiography. Great. I got city council on my back. My dad's about to throw a heart attack. And that lube overflow is destroying the floor. Things get any worse. Well, things have gotten a whole hell of a lot worse. We have three missing persons, and we don't have a single clue. If anyone has any ideas, 
right now would be a good time. Ladies and gentlemen, you all know me. I've been coming to these council meetings since before you were in short pants. And let me tell you all, as God is my witness, there's a simple answer to this crisis. It's that nightclub, that hotbed of sin and corruption. It's a cancer on this town. Always has been, always will be. God is smiting us for allowing it to exist in our little town, and we're reaping the whirlwind for it. So until we shut it down, burn it to the ground, and salt the very earth it stands on, it'll be a plague upon us. As it says in the good book. Oh, will you shut the hell up, you insane old bastard? What in the hell is wrong with you people? We're talking about life and death issues here, and all you can talk about is that damn nightclub. You're all a bunch of hypocrites, you know that? Look at you, Owen Tripp. Every other day you're down at the racetrack blowing every cent that you have. While your wife has to work a second job just to keep the heat on. I think the good book has something to say about that. You'll find it in Deuteronomy. And you, Selma Johnson, weren't you supposed to be working the food bank this year? You know, so the poor could have a good meal at Christmas? Well, I was busy. Busy? Busy my ass! You're busy watching your damn soap operas. You know, all you talk a great game about being good Christians, but you only help when it's convenient for you. Now, if I hear just one more word about that damn night, I'll have each and every one of you work in that soup kitchen on Christmas Eve as well as Christmas morning. How do you like them bananas, huh? Yeah. Now, I'm putting together a search party. If any of you good Christian soldiers want to help, and follow me. Tonight, I make the call. Wonderful. The suspense has been such sweet torture for me. Now remember, there's a second part to this deal. I got rid of that sanctum of sodomy for you, and now you have to fulfill your part of the deal. Are you sure, honey pants? I mean, killing the mayor, who just happens to be your son? It's a little too <clears throat> great tragedy for me. No, but the life insurance money will be enough to let us make our trip to Florida a little more permanent. As long as it looks like an accident. Mama knows best. gives you headaches, and I told you I would take care of this stuff already. I'm trying to get my hundred bucks back. Move a decimal point here. Seriously, I will take care of all this. Hmm. You know what I feel like doing? <clears throat> going home, getting some rest, taking your meds. No, 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 no. I feel like going downstairs and hitting that dance floor. Oh, no, 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 your heart is to my heart, my eye. Day to shake, job. Can't cut a rug. It's the day that I want them to put me away in pine. 
I want you to watch this movie. Now, this is the move. We got your mommy all involved with your daddy. Go. Go dance, all right? And try not to make the young lady swoon too much, because I don't need a little baby brother at the ripe old age of 32.
everybody against the wall. This is the police. Tell that man to get up. This is a raid. He's not getting up. Call an ambulance. I want all these freaks searched. Every last one of them. What the hell is going you on? You have the right to remain silent. Give out! What were you thinking? I told you. Now look at you. Somebody call an ambulance! No, don't. We have to get Kent out of this. Be okay, Kent. Yeah, define okay. My father's dead and we're sitting in jail on weapons and narcotics charges. So this is prison, huh? It's a lot more boring than I thought it would be. I'm sure it's all just a misunderstanding. After all, those drugs weren't yours. And everyone knows Moonbeam would never touch heroin or cocaine, much less a gun. Well, I'm sure that'll go over real well in court. You didn't even give us prison outfits. Where the hell is Moonbeam, huh? Shouldn't he be here getting us out on bail or something? Are we the only inmates in this entire place? I'm sure he and Jace will be here any minute straighten things out. Penitentiary Penetrations Part 5 completely misrepresents this entire scenario. Hello! Oh, <laughs> oh that You'll was quick. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm a lawyer, Kent. We have templates for those kind of things. <laughs> templates. <laughs> Where's the shower room? I want to drop the soap. This is a divorce settlement. Hmm. Just sign it, Kent. <laughs> but, but, but why? You don't honestly think those drugs are mine, do you? Oh, of course not. No, no, of course not. But you see, I can't represent you on this one there, Kent. Conflict of interest. <laughs> <laughs> but you're my lawyer. Right, yeah, yeah. And I'm also the dude who's running off to Tijuana with your old lady. <laughs> 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 you. 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 I believe the word you're looking for there is what we used to say in Woodstock. Bummer. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think the word was bitch! <laughs> you fucking bitch! How could you do this to me? I told you not to hire the hippie! I fucking told you! You retard! <laughs> God, come back here! Fuck! Where's the yard with all the big guys working out? Wait till you see the groovy little hacienda I have by the beach. You're not gonna wanna come home after you've seen your first Mexican sunset. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, New England. No more shoveling snow, and best of all, no more Kent. That miserable loser. <laughs> you know this is a genuine shagging wagon. <laughs> ah, come on, send me to the moon. Mm, gladly. I just want something to remember the club by. Drugs and narcotics? That just doesn't sound like the Kent that I know. I know. You think someone set them up, don't you? Why would anyone do that? I don't know, but I'm worried. I mean, Carpet, Froggy, and Dog Boy are all still missing. And I'm beginning to get this really bad feeling that it has something to do with the club being shut down. Shut down. Someone had to have seen something that night. A witness or something. Unless someone had them killed. <laughs> I 
I have a confession to make. I'm not really a furry. I'm a voyeur. A voyeur? Cool. Ew! Ew! The councilman has a thing for the mayor's mother? Don't be so judgmental, Echo. Intergenerational love can be a beautiful thing. Oh, my goodness, Jay. I'm going to have to start using a better denture fixture if you're going to continue to kiss me that way. Oh. Never mind. That's disgusting. You know, it's too bad we have to leave town. By the shutting down that club, this would be the perfect place to raise our children in. They're the ones that got the club shut down. Those bastards! Those bastards! I have everything we need set. Once Rusty is dead, we can go. Isn't Rusty the mayor's name? Don't you see, Echo? They're gonna kill the mayor. We have to tell someone. Come on. We have to tell someone. I'm cold. I'm tired. This is crazy. We've run around in circles and we haven't seen as much as a severed pinky finger. Listen, I know you guys are cold and tired and I appreciate the effort, but we have to keep looking. Now remember, we're looking for a girl in her early 20s, a guy dressed up in a carpet, and another dressed up as a, as a dog. Mr. Mayor! What are you kids doing out? Do you know how late it is? Mr. Mayor, I'm Danny, and this is my boyfriend Echo, and we have to talk to you about something very important. Well, I'm right here. Tell me. Tell me. Well, we really should do it in private. Kids, you can tell me anything. I'm your mayor. I'm your mayor. No, you see, you don't understand. The young man, why do you keep repeating everything that I say? Repeat everything that I say. No, I are you mocking me, son? Are you mocking me? Sir, what he's saying is that it's something that you might not want everyone to hear about. Well enough. It's just that sometimes the truth can be an ugly thing. An ugly thing? A really really ugly thing. My mother? Young lady, you just made a very serious accusation. Do you have any proof? Well, she did mention a large life insurance policy. I don't recall mentioning my life insurance policy to my Honey dear, did you remember to make that final payment on your life insurance policy? Yes, Mother. That's a good boy. What a good boy. Sweet baby Jesus is behind. I've been bamboozled by my own mad familias. Sorry, you had to find out like this, Mr. Mayor, but you just had to. No, for your no, own I can't believe this. Oh, Alma, you horny little she devil, you make me feel like a little schoolgirl. What's wrong, sweet buttercup? Shh. I thought I heard something. It was like a sound. Oh, come on, can't be. There's nobody else here. Another case solved, Sherlock Holmes. Let's retire to the study for roaring fires and pipe smoking. Pipe smoking? Sounds good, Nancy Drew. But you know, there's still something that's bothering me. What? I mean, the mayor's mother wanted him dead, and Jay wanted the cops to be shut down. They were in cahoots, plain and simple. Plain and simple. It's not that. It's just all the missing people. I mean, there's no connection between them and the- ah! Don't worry, my sweet little plantain. My lawyer will have me out of here in 10. So you only murdered your boyfriend because he was evil, right? He was a bad one. He was bad.
Mr. Chubb? It's you. Would you come here to add conspiracy to commit sodomy to my list of charges? No. I'm here to tell you that you and your employees here are, are all free to go. It seems it was a mistake. The fingerprints on the bags of drugs were those of Councilman Boyers alone. <laughs> and hopefully you'll accept my heartfelt apology. Apology accepted. And as of now, your club's officially reopened. I got a funeral to worry about right now. I heard about your dad. And be my honor to say a word at his funeral. That is, if you'll allow me. It'd be my honor. Get back to work. Thank you. Hubba hubba. Crumkey, come on! Crumkey! Don't leave me! Oh, Jesus. Thank you very much. Your father was a great man. Yeah, thanks for coming out. Thank you. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. It was a beautiful service, Kent. It's just starting to worry about Danny and Echo. We haven't heard from him in a while. Oh, yeah, you know what? I'm sorry about that. I, I got a call from Danny this morning apologizing for not showing up. I guess she and Echo have got the flu or something. So, I know now's a bad time and all, but shouldn't we start talking about the New Year's Eve party at the club? There's not going to be a New Year's Eve party. What? What are you talking about? I'm closing the club. Look, between the city council bullshit, my father dying, my wife divorcing me, three missing employees and two missing patrons, it tells me I'm not a very good club manager. Can't be serious. Where will we all go? You gave us a place that we were safe. You gave us a home. Crumb cake's right, Ken. It's a home. Yeah, well, I'm a lousy homeowner then. And my father made that place what it is today. And I'm no shank chub, and I never will be. Let him go. He's got a lot he needs to work out alone. What are you looking so down in the mouth for, boy? Why are you looking at me like that? I have something on my face? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. I'm finally cracking up. I didn't think it was going to happen this soon. You're not cracking up, son. I'm as real as the nose on your face. But you're dead, Dad. Details, details. I needed to come down here and have a word with you, Kent. I heard what you said about the club closing down. I know. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm just not as strong as you were. Or, or, were what? <laughs> Listen, Kent. You're not a quitter. Life has just handed you some bad cards. That's all. But the secret is to learn to enjoy the game. Because in the end, that's all life is, just a game. And the house always wins. As usual, you got a good point, Dad. Of course I do. Now, are you a man or a mouse? I'm kind of cheesed off at the moment. <laughs> it's good to see you haven't lost that terrible sense of humor of yours. <laughs> I know there's going to be some trying times ahead for you. And it's going to be a bitter struggle. 
Well, at least I don't have to go it alone. Got some good friends. And a dad that I... Ah, you don't have to say it, Kent. I know what you feel. Now you do me a favor. Go reopen the club. It's time to celebrate New Year's. You know, it's sad it had to end this way. I had no choice in the matter. Just think what a glorious impression this is gonna make. After tonight, I'm gonna be somebody. Not the pathetic loser you always wanted me to be. Oh, don't worry. I'm not gonna kill you both. At least, not yet. Come on, people. Let's get this place ready. We only got like four hours. Let's go. Chrome Cake, this list of bands, you can vouch for every last one of them, right? Yeah, yeah. Sort of. I was kind of rushed, boss. I know, I know. Look, tonight's really important. We gotta let it go off without a hitch. It'll be fine, boss. Don't worry about it. Deno Iniquity, how may we service you? Hello, Jelly Bean. It's Danny. Danny, are you and Echo still sick? There's a lot that needs to get done around here. We've eloped. We're in Florida right now. <laughs> are you serious? Eloped? Well, um, congratulations. I guess. Thanks. Tell Kent we're sorry we missed his father's funeral. It's okay. Just uh, come back soon and we'll all celebrate together, okay? Oh. And tell Kent we ran into Carpet and Froggy at the airport. It's the funniest story. Turn page over. What? What was that? Sorry. Um, I was saying we ran into Froggy and Carpet and they've gone to Mexico on a three-week drinking binge. That doesn't sound like Carpet and Froggy. But hey, stranger things have happened. That's a good little panda. Good, good panda. Jellybean, who say after you get out of here, possibly you mean have a good <laughs> Not if you had the last penis on her. Let me take you to Splatter Disco. I told you everything was going to be okay. Oh, hey, this is Cameron, the new bartender that I hired. This is Kent, he's the owner of the club. This is Jelly Bean. Welcome to the club, Cameron. Closing tonight, you, uh, you want to come over to my place and uh, see my party favor? Depends. Does it pop?
Showtime! Gang. You're here. It has to be better than this year. Because how could it get any worse? Oh, it's gonna get worse, Ken. A whole hell of a lot worse. That is one ugly fucking rodent. What the hell are you doing, Dax? I told you never to step foot in my club again. Oh, now you want to talk to me. Now I'm suddenly very important. Before? I was just some jerk everybody wanted to push around. Now I'm very interesting, huh? Let me kick the shit out of him. No, you know what? I got this crumb cake. Me, Fury 3. Cowards. Got it. Back off. <laughs> hey, hey, Dex. Hey, hey. Take it easy, man. I was just kidding about beating you up with Fury 3. I, I just, what, do you, what do you want from us, man? What do I want? What do I want? I want to be loved, stupid. That's why I had to kill all those people. Society scorned me. I want to exact my revenge on all those that have mocked me. They couldn't see the man behind the mouse. <laughs> Shut up! Stop laughing at me. I'm the one with the fucking explosives here, last I checked. The man with the bombs makes the rules, doesn't he? Listen, Dax. Don't, don't do anything stupid. What do you want us to do for you, huh? I just want you all to love me for me. Whoa, son. Son, son, son. Don't ask me for advice with this one. If that kid is nuttier than a cheese log. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Dad. or accepted by this merciless world. It's okay. I'm gonna start this new year fresh. With the purifying glory of fire. It's Dex. Why did you take me instead? I'm a gay man in the horror movie of life. I'm not supposed to make the last round. You know what? Maybe I will kill you first, just for fun. And then everybody else. Danny, if we get out of this alive, I'm gonna marry you. You can say that again. You can say that again? Next jerk that tries anything stupid. He's doing. He's doing. Even educated, please do it. Let's do it. Let's fall in love. Say something, anything. Snatch the bullet from my hand, grasshopper. <laughs> I'm sorry I blew up your ex-boyfriend. It's okay. He was a very, very bad squirrel. No 
und Guess. Why so glum, John? It's New Year's Eve. Everybody's got somebody, except for me. I'm all alone. No one to kiss. It's New Year's. And anything is possible. Excuse me. Can you help me? I'm from out of town and I'm looking for a place a single gay man can relax and have a good time. Though acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind. Should old acquaintance be forgot for old lang side. For old lang side, my dear, for old lang side. We'll take a cup of kindness yet. For old lang syne. Happy New Year! Now to bring things down a bit, we have Fuck. All the way from Mississippi, blues legend Blind Jimmy Johnson. This first song here is about my ex-wife, Boyfa, who died in a distillery accident in the summer of 56. And it goes a little something like this. Baby, baby! Why do you leave me on the rock? Is it me or is he not blind? I didn't have no money! Yeah. So I couldn't afford to put you in a bypass! And now for my next number. <laughs>
again Let me take you to the last place you'll go